For practice it, self-check 5.29 assertion 3. We have the following code and we need to fill in each of the box for the table below with always, never, or sometimes. So first thing that we're going to do is actually look at this code. And we have a method header here. We're returning an integer and we are taking a scanner as parameter. In the next line and in this line, we set prev and count equal to zero. In this line, we say that int next is equal to console.next int. So the first integer of here that's being passed in from our scanner is going to be stored in next. Then we hit point A. After this, we have a while loop here. And in our while loop, we're running this as long as our next does not equal zero. Then we have point B. Then we have an if statement. And if next is equal to prev, we are just going to increment count plus plus. But right before that, we have our point C. Outside of our if statement, we have prev is equal to next. So that means our prev is going to be the current console.next int. And then after that, our next is equal to console.next int. So we're going to get the next int after this original next int. Then we hit point D. Lastly, we break out of our while loop. We hit point E, return count, and then our closing brace. We're going to look at this column first. First thing we have is point A, and we need to see if next is equal to zero. Well, next is equal to console.next int, and this could be any integer, so this is sometimes equal to zero. We look at point B. We look at the condition to be in our while loop, which is next cannot equal zero. Well, if next equals zero, we would not be in our while loop. So this would be never, never, never can next equal zero in this while loop. For point C, we have if next is equal to prev count plus plus, we can see that we are not actually doing anything with next. We're not changing its value. Therefore, next will never equal zero here. Then we hit this part right here. And in this part, we see that um, our prev is equal to next, and next is where this is where we're manipulating our x. Next is equal to console.next in. So right here, next can equal zero. It would hit point, point D, and we would get sometimes, and if this were equal to zero, we would break out of this loop right afterwards. And point E is always next is equal to zero because if we go through this while loop and break out of it that means next is zero so at point e and next is zero if we never go into our while loop that means next is already zero so we would be point e so that would be always next we have prev is equal to zero we're starting at point a where prev is always equal to zero because we are initializing it and declaring it here at point b we say that it's sometimes equal to zero because Although we haven't manipulated it yet, if we go through the rest of our while loop, we see right here prev is equal to next. And well, if prev is equal to next, we are assigning it a new value, and we go through this while loop again, and we hit point B, that means prev can equal zero, but it can also not equal zero. So this is sometimes. Next for point C, we have if next is equal to prev, and then count plus plus. Well, this can never happen. Prev cannot equal next because if prev is equal to zero, as we have right here, that means next is equal to zero. And if next were actually equal to zero, we wouldn't even be in this while loop to begin with. So this is never. For part D, it is the similar thing where we have prev is equal to next. And well, if prev is equal to zero that means next has to be zero but if next were zero we would never be in this while loop so this can never happen at point e this can sometimes happen where prev is equal to zero because if we don't go through our while loop prev is going to equal zero however if we go through our while loop prev will not be zero so this is sometimes lastly we have prev is or we have next is equal to prev so looking at point a 
next is equal to prev next can equal zero because it's console.next int and this can be any integer. So it is sometimes. For point B, we have our while loop and we're doing next is equal to prev. Well, we have this line right here, prev is equal to next. So this is basically the same thing as this. And when we run through our while loop a second time, or anything just that's not the first time, we will possibly get that next is equal to prev at point B. At point C, we always have next is equal to prev because our if condition is if next is equal to prev. So this is always. So for part D, point D right here, we have prev is equal to next. And then we have next is equal to console.nextInt and then we hit point D. Well, prev is equal to the next that we have just done. But then we're setting next equal to a new value. And this new value could be equal to the previous next. However, it's not guaranteed. So this is sometimes. For point E, next is equal to prev because if we go through this while loop, we get that it is sometimes equal. And the same thing were to happen if we did not go through this while loop. So this is also sometimes, it's an uncertainty. So if we submit this, we get all passes and these are the correct values for the table in this problem.